Hello, and welcome to What's in the Bag. I'm Eliza Pancakes, your hostess with the mostess. And no, this is not elegant old lady chat hour. This is, in fact, What's in the Fucking Bag. And today's host is a very special loser. Find out next. Delilah Devro Dupree. You know, I never thought I would be saying those three words in one sentence on this show because I thought that you were like the elevated Velveta Baggins of the series where, like, there wasn't really anything wrong with Velveta. She just didn't quite go as far as you did. But you had two wins where she had zero. And it kind of seemed like you were, like, hitting all the right notes where she was just kind of there and then she was eliminated along with side Jacqueline Queen in episode four. You made it all the way to the roast and then, bam, just like that, you're in the bottom, you go home. What happened? Well, Eliza, all I can honestly say is people have perceptions on queens and how we are supposed to act and how we're supposed to portray ourselves on television and on stage. And from my experience, it has come down to the fact that, that it is up to the individual queen to decide how they portray themselves. And I thought for the roast, your roast, by the way, that my portrayal was right on the head of the nail. Hmm, interesting. You know, like, because a lot of people were bringing up Jamie Kennedy's Malibu Most Wanted with, like, your roast bit, but honestly, the first thing that came to my mind was Terror Ryzen from, uh, oh, what the hell was it? Redemption 1's roast, and how she bombed so terribly, but wasn't in the bottom because it was like, uh, oh, Fortuna's been in the bottom, let's get rid of her. So... Yeah, it kind of reminded me of that, so I wasn't really surprised that you were in the bottom. I was surprised, however, that you got your ass sent home with two wins under your belt. Like, when has that ever happened on the show? Usually, Morgan doesn't waste wins on people. I mean, there was extra in Season 1. She had two wins. I think they were both, like, tied wins. Your wins were both tied. But they were deserved. Um, that, like, never happens. I thought, for sure, you'd be in the finale in, like, the top four, and I'm really surprised to see that you bond the roast as hard as you did. Someone who can make Betty Davis funny couldn't come up with a funny enough roast character to save their ass from being on the bottom. That's, that's sad, Delilah. That's sad. Oh, yes, indeed, Eliza. Boo-hoo, Kalu, to me and you. Boo-hoo-hoo, I'll cry all the way to the bank. Anyway, enough about that. Let's turn our attention over here and see what you brought us. Delilah, what did you show us today? What's in your bag? Now, this first dress here, immediately, the first thing that comes to my mind is ravishing in red. You've got the red mask, the red dress. I'm going to go on a limb, Delilah, and guess that this was going to be for the Mask for Mask His and Hers runway of the Queen Peaks challenge. Yes, Eliza, that is 100% correct. If, in fact, the mask itself was not a dead giveaway, this look would have made people fall over in their seats in disbelief. And it is a tragedy, it is a tragedy that the viewers, the fans of the series won't be able to see and enjoy what I'm doing. You know, Delilah, the more i noticed since Snatch Game, it kind of sounds like you become Betty Davis, like you're an old-time Hollywood starlet. But darling, aren't we all old-time Hollywood starlets? I mean, you had your chance, and you were unceremoniously booted off the show. And I'm still, uh... Well, I'm also off the show, but I had two wins, and what did you have? Well, I had a paycheck. 
I'm still getting a paycheck. I think. Anyway, moving on. Speaking of Snatch Game, Delilah, your Snatch Game character was probably the most profound, probably the most on point, accurate, and funniest and best I've seen in a long time. Like, your win was, without a doubt, so deserved. And I'm not just kissing your ass because I'm a stone cold bitch. I shoot from the hip and I tell it like it is, hunty. So you know that I'm not like coddling you. You like you you know that. So when I look back from the previous two seasons, season one and season two snatch game, it's like the winners who won were like good, like Shadows Miss Crumple Bottom in season one was good. Bambina and Saltis's, um Pam Anderson and Lucille Ball were good, but yours was just so, like, there. I would argue that Tawny's Jocelyn Wallenstein was such, like, an oddball choice, but was so good as well. Like, she played into it, not speaking Dutch or Swedish, she was speaking German, and it was, like, funny. And, like, I think she could have gotten that win, too, since it was a three-way tie. I'm, I'm not gonna lie, I wasn't wild, I wasn't wild about, um, Mint Cookie Sam Kinison. I mean, I think she got the voice and the look down, but all she did was just kind of, like, angrily yell, like, kind of a half yell, sort of, with her voice. It just wasn't really funny. Like, just going, ah, like, it's, it's not funny. Maybe Sam Kinison did it better, but I thought that you unequivocally, uh, without a doubt, earned that win. You deserved it, hands down. I thank you for the overwhelming support, Eliza. I can now die easily, knowing that I have the support and a friendly rapport with a defamed former judge. <laughs> okay, crazy. Okay, let's look at this next dress over here. Oh my god! Black and white, the little, um, what is that, corsage or boutonniere or whatever. Uh, the long sl sleeve gloves, the elbow length gloves. I love it! Oh my god, Delilah, was this supposed to be for the finale? Yes, Eliza, the finale. The finale that I have been robbed of attending. And that is right, you may refer to me as a robbed queen. And I feel very very disgusted that I will not be able to attend and show people this dress. And it's, it's, well, what can I say? It's, it's a tragedy for the fans, for the other queens, for myself to not show it off. Yeah, you know, Delilah, I just talked to Heretic and her mask for mask look was gorgeous and I'm pissed that I'm not going to be able to see it. I'm pissed. I'm not going to be able to see this dress. Delilah, I'm pissed. What do you have to say about that? Well, Eliza, I think you're just going to have to take it up with Morgan, if at all. Ugh, don't get me started. I hate dealing with those people. Oh, look at that. Looks like part two of our double ep episode special is close to an end so i'm gonna close out the show here so join me next time as i attempt to buy unused celebrity twitter handles from elon musk Ooh. <laughs>